and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some of the highlights that were released in September 2021. In this first video I will be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones I will be covering paid assets and tools. Check out the full playlist to see all of the highlights every month, you might find something that would be perfect for whatever project you're currently working on. By the way, there's a mega bundle happening right now on the Unity Asset Store. As usual, it's a super deep discount, up to 95% off. It contains lots of interesting tools, so there's one to help you manage an inventory database, another one for placing some decals and a terrain system, there's a digging system, you can slice meshes, volumetric VFX, and tons more. As usual, with such a deep discount, it's worth it if just one of these assets looks interesting. Check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off with an official asset made by Unity, Card Skins. This is an official add-on to the carding micro game, so it's made primarily for that, but really these are just card meshes. So if you have a carding game of any kind, then this can be quite useful. The cards themselves look great, very nice designs and pretty varied. In total, you've got 12 unique vehicles for you to play with. Then if instead you need some 2D particle effects, here's three great ones. These are impact effects, so great for damaging things. One of them looks like some electric damage, the other one more fire and smoke, and the last one putting them both together. They are simple and they look great. For some textures, here's a nice pack. They're in a hand-painted style, so slightly cartoony. You've got some grass, ground, and ground with rocks. All of them with multiple variations and in pretty high resolution. The variations also have different light baked into them, so it allows you to fake light in your terrains without actually using lights. For some props and assets, here is an office scene. I really like this style, pretty cute. The screenshots look excellent, I really like the black outline. It's a pretty big pack for something that is free, you've got a bunch of building parts and quite a nice amount of props. Next up, for an interesting tool, here is Collider X. This is a tool to help you make your scene much more performant. It goes through all of the objects in your scene, and then based on your settings, it either adds a mesh collider, which is pretty expensive, or it simplifies the object and adds a simple box collider. So this can be useful for very quickly improving performance in your scenes when you have tons of colliders. If you need some great looking weapons, check out this pack. Features quite a lot of them for a free pack. You've got a bunch of axes, some shields, bows, daggers, swords, and a couple of staffs. All of them with multiple visuals for quite a bit of customization. So if you're working on a medieval melee game, then this one is great. Up next, you can add some life to your sapphire levels with these decals. Make your scene look much more realistic by adding a bunch of stickers everywhere. In total, over 30 stickers with a bunch of warnings, caution, instructions and so on. Pretty interesting. Then here's a pretty unique one called SimpleNet. Based on the description, this is a super simple bare bones networking library. It doesn't say how it works, but I would assume that it's based on simple C-sharp sockets. So this one could be a great asset for you to download and inspect the code if you want to learn the basics of networking connections in C-sharp. If you're working on a pixel art sci-fi game, then check out this pack. Features one character and two enemies. It's got quite a bit of animations for the main character and a bunch of background items. So this one is great if you want to just quickly add a visual to your platformer or if you want to play around with some sprite sheet animation. And finally, here's another one also officially made by Unity. This one is probably not of much interest to game developers, but it's pretty interesting. As you might know, Unity is expanding more and more into different areas, and one of those is automotive. So this one seems like it's a template for creating some sort of car dashboard. If you're working on a realistic racing game, then maybe you can take some parts from this. Some of the gadgets look really nice. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for September 2021. There's links to all in the description, stay tuned for the next video covering paid assets and tools, there's lots of awesome stuff there. Check out the phone playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for